somebody had asked me if I would do a go-kart update and asked if I could explain how we moved our ignition switch from the engine up to its current location up here by the uh, driver. And so I thought I'd go ahead and just do a quick update since I haven't done a video in a while anyway. Uh, moving this ignition is actually very easy. All you have to do is dismount the bolt or remove the bolts that are holding it onto the frame over here or the or the motor. And then somewhere in the middle, you know, don't go clipping it really close to this end. Um, give yourself a little bit of room, but go ahead and clip the wires. Get yourself some new wire and some connectors and just, you know, lengthen it out. Just connect all the new wires, um, lengthen it to what you need it to, and, you know, everything's connected. So that you might have to do, I can't remember if we had to do that with the actual battery wires, cables, or anything like that. I don't think so. Um, but probably, there's probably, a, a, you know, a few wires that we had to do that to. I just can't remember how many. It's been a while. Um, to mount it to the frame, all we did is, there's two two sections um, that you can bolt it to the frame. Um, one of them, let's look from underneath. As you can see right here, we just basically drilled and tapped the frame and put this bolt in here. Just this little wing nut that we had and tighten that down and then something similar over here but I actually had to build a little bracket so let me go to the other side might be hard to see because of the shadow um, but I just built this little bracket you know just out of a half inch piece of steel drilled a hole in it welded this nut to this side and then we ran that bolt through it and everywhere else where there was this cable, we ran through this conduit right here. And then we just used these, these are actually from Harbor Freight, they're uh, stainless steel ties. So we just use those and those hold it quite well. And this is very solid. I've never had any problems with anybody um, kicking it or bumping it or making it loose or anything. And we've never had any problems with this. So it's actually been in a great position and we wanted to move it up there, one, to make it convenient for the driver, but it's um, also kind of a safety issue. If, if uh, our torque converter sticks or something like that, the if you start it, it wants to take off on you, and this is a pretty heavy cart. So, I mean, that motor right there will, like I said, I think it's around 13 horsepower. It'll, it'll push things out of the way, and so we wanted to be able to have the driver sit down and push the brake when they start it. Um, if you kill it on a hill, you don't want to have to get out and try to start it. I've I've been on a 45, 50 degree slope and killed it a couple of times um, for different reasons. Broke a chain the other day, actually. If you look at it in the back now, I'm, I've got to fix a leak on the engine. I've got a new gasket for that. And that's why the whole back end isn't done, because it, it's leaked oil and we never painted it after I rebuilt it. But... Um, this last Christmas my family was driving it and the last the sprocket came loose tore up the shaft and Broke the chain and we didn't we we couldn't use it for a while finally my brother dropped this go-kart off of my house Here's the old shaft. I was just going to weld this but it uh, The shaft is actually bent so I just ordered a new shaft new sprocket new sprocket actually showed up this last week I'm just going to go ahead and put that on and then I ordered chain Unfortunately, I ordered number 41 chain, and this is it here, but we kept breaking it. And then I went and looked at my previous chain, and it's number 40 chain, so it's heavier duty. This takes about 1,500 pounds of uh, pressure before it breaks, and this will take about 3,300 pounds. So I actually should have new chain showing up today, and I'll go ahead and hook that up, and we'll put around on the go-kart for a while and have some fun, and then um, later on I think I'll grind off the rust on the back end, paint it, fix that oil leak, and we'll be done with that again. Um, one, another thing I should mention, the plans, if you're building this spider cart, the original plans call for these shocks in the back, and those are, those shocks aren't that great, and um, this, it's seriously, they're seriously, just can't take the weight get a beefier shock like this. I can't remember exactly what I have right there as far as the pound rating goes. I thought it was up around 750 each on each shock. And then I actually moved the rear shocks to the front 
that was a little too tight. Um, you could probably go with a 10 inch shock instead of 11 or whatever that is, but, um, this cart sits up well and takes the bumps quite well now, especially back here. We never bottom out like we were before. Um, and it rides really smoothly. So anyway, that's the update for the go-kart specifically how to move the ignition from the motor up by the driver. And if you have any questions, let me know.